From fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada, this is Pod Therapy. Real people, real problems, real therapists. If you have a question you'd like to ask or advice you'd like to give, come on over to podtherapy.net and join the conversation. It's Therapy Thursday, and today on the episode, we talk about us. Yes! So, if you're like my sister and you love the podcast, but you don't really care for Nick or Jim, yeah, this is not the episode for you. <laughs> and now, broadcasting from Level 9 Studios, that guy is Dr. Jim Jobin. I'm Nick Tangeman. It's time for some pod therapy. Yeah, I would say my least favorite thing about our podcast is us. <laughs> I would say, yeah, yeah, that's exactly how I feel. <laughs> I love that podcast. I would agree with you. It. Yeah. <laughs> if we could find somebody else to do this, yeah, this guys, would be a listen, really good podcast. We don't want to do this, okay? We have to do this. <laughs> if one of you would just step up, <laughs> we wouldn't have to step in here and do this every week. You so, brought this upon yourselves. <laughs> right. Uh, today is going to be – our episode is going to be a little bit different. Than, yes. It's exciting. Than usual. This is going to be fun. It is. Fun. What, we got a lot of things we're going to do th- today that uh, I'm pretty excited about. Yeah, definitely. And uh, we have uh, – we've got some news. Yes. An announcement. Yeah, we got some housekeeping, some uh, important information to share. Can I tell them? Yeah, go ahead. All right. So uh, great news. Pod therapy is now – even bigger than it used to be. (laughs) We are continuing to grow. We got picked up by the second most popular audio app and platform in the world, iHeartRadio. And so we uh, we got picked up by them. They actually got us and said, you know what, we're going to add this to our podcast uh, catalog. And that's a huge honor. We love you, iHeartRadio. Thank you so much. And if you're out there and you use that app, you can now find us on there. So super exciting. Very exciting. We're on our way, Nick. Howard Stern, watch out. Yeah, yeah, totally. You're, He's our competition. Yeah, I feel yeah. like it's stern. This is your warning. This is <laughs> this is your warning shot. Doctor Drew is out there shaking in his boots. Like I don't know who these pod therapy guys are, but yeah. they're up and comers. <laughs> You're on notice, Drew. You're on notice, Drew. I'm coming for you. Phil yeah. don't care. Yeah. <laughs> Phil's got TV. We're we're not there. <laughs> so this is. Uh, I mean, this is obviously says something about our pad podcast or it says something uh, about iHeartRadio that yes. they just let anybody with a podcast yes, on there. Yes, that's what it is. <laughs> it's not that we're – today's announcement is not that we're doing really well. It's, wow, what's happening to standards? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jeez, man. The bar has been lowered. Bar, hey, congratulations. You've lowered the bar. <laughs> You're welcome, America. <laughs> that's what we've come to do with pod therapy. That's all right. Okay. So uh, if you've been a regular listener, um, you know that uh, Jim's got a new ringtone. Yeah. Um, yeah. I have I have actually deleted it. Today was my day. Okay. I did my seven-day spell. It's off now. I'm yes. back to my normal ringtone, but it has which, not been fun. Which was Rick Astley's I'm Never Gonna Give You Up. <sighs> yeah. Which was a, such a joy all week to to hear your phone ring. Yeah. In the other office. And uh, yeah. it, just, it put me in such a great mood. It was frustrating because both I hate that song and you tolerate or like that song. I, I'll be honest. I like Everything it. Everything was wrong with I this. really liked it. Everything was wrong. Like it's one thing if you're enjoying my pain. It's another thing if you're enjoying my pain and you're like bobbing your head. <laughs> like you're like jamming yeah. to it. And well, then your phone continues to ring and it continues to be Prince. And yeah. it just makes me more and more mad because I really, really want that thing to change now. Which is great because when I get a call, then you get a call, then I get a yeah, call. It's yeah. like the best concert ever. It's, it's absolutely it, – Prince is good. But So if you're uh, a new listener, uh, Nick and I have an ongoing uh, rivalry where weeks ago I was unable to identify his ringtone of Prince – and I was um, absolutely shamed and treated very, very badly <laughs> by all of the internet and Nick and all of our listeners. And so we uh, started a new uh, regular theme where we do ringtone revenge. And last week we played a psychology trivia game to see who would be punished with a new ringtone. And the ringtone submitted was Never Gonna Give You Up by Rick Astley and submitted by our fan club president, uh, Don, who we love. And uh, unfortunately, I was the bearer of that ringtone all week long. Right. So now, ringtone revenge, That's you, get, right. you have a chance to uh, redeem yourself. Oh, God. I need this. I need this right. bad. So, uh, you know, part of our job is uh, to do, uh, you know, be able to uh, do a diagnosis. Yes. Um, which is something that we take very seriously and it's something that's very important and it helps us identify what – the person that we're working with, what they're dealing with, and also helps us formulate our treatment plan, how we're going to uh, treat this individual. Right. Um, and it's, uh, 
making a diagnosis can be a little bit of an art form. It, yes. it can be very complicated. Yes. Um, which, uh, it's Jim, like a riddle. You can solve it, a riddle. It is. Yeah, in a way. And, and, uh, Jim has an exorbitant amount of confidence when it comes yes. to this. Yes. So I'm going to call him out on it. Unbeaten. That's what I am. <laughs> Unbeaten. So as therapists, one of the ways that we train and one of the ways that Nick and I train is with other therapists and we constantly do these things called role plays where uh, we – one of us pretends to have an illness and we give clues about what that illness is. And this is very common in all forms of medicine, not just psychology. But then the other clinician has to use those clues to, to figure it out and get to an actual answer. We do this all the time in training and as Nick said, I'm really – Really good at it. And so Nick decided to give me a chance to uh, best him in this week's ringtone revenge by trying to stump the chump and see if he can uh, get me to uh, – If I'm going to see if I can guess the diagnosis that he has in mind and he's going to try to stump me. But he has to give me true clues, Nick. No throwing me off. You have to tell me as it is. Right. Yes. So you're going to become – you have to be the diagnosis, okay? It to be you don't have to act it out. <laughs> like you Good. have to tell me the real thing. Yeah. Okay. No, no, yeah, that and that's fair. So the rules, uh you give you have uh twenty questions. Okay. Uh yes or no. Okay. So I'll ask twenty questions. I have up to twenty. You have up to twenty questions. If I make a guess, that counts as a question. That counts as a question. And generally my questions have to be yes or no, but you'll fill in as you feel it's fair to fill in. Yes. Okay. Got and, it. And uh to somewhat keep it easy, or not easy, but fair. Okay. <clears throat> um, I'm not allowed to come up with a, like an NOS diagnosis or not yes. otherwise specified. Thank or, you. Thank you. Because uh, that would have been ridiculous. Yeah. I'd have never gotten those. There's so <laughs> many of those. All right. So the rules are it has to be in the DSM-5, which is the psychology Bible. And I can verify Nick is holding one in front got of him right, right here. now. He's got a big old book. Thump it on the table, Nick. Let him hear it thing is huge. <laughs> the thing is absolutely huge. So it is the psychology Bible. He has opened up to a page. He has his diagnosis and, and I uh, cannot see it. What are we playing for today, Jim? We are playing for a ringtone selected by, and this is a lot of fun, Professor Roberta Miranda at Nevada State College. She is a listener of the show. And uh, later on in the podcast, we're going to hear from her students. They have submitted us a bunch of questions, and we're really excited about it. In fact, a lot of this show is going to be dedicated to them. And in honor of Professor Miranda and the wonderful psychology students at Nevada State College, she has selected this week's Ringtone Revenge, which if I can win this game, Nick will be putting on his phone and of course, if I get stumped, then I have to have it again. And this week's song is. Is it weird that I'm dancing? No. no. Look me in the eyes. <laughs> yes. All right. Come on, Barbie. Let's go party. All right. Well, thank this you. Uh, for you. Thank you, Roberta, for that. Yes. Um, but I dedicate this victory to the students and staff of Nevada State College. Well, I'll be honest. I mean, um, you know, I'm, I'm planning on changing my ringtone to uh, Celine Dion's "My Heart Will Go On." Yeah, so that was already on the agenda, right? Yeah. So I'm if I get stuck with that, I'm a hard person to. <laughs> it's embarrass hard to disappoint you with these with ringtones. Yeah. Well, we're gonna try, Nick, because right. you're getting it this week, and I dedicate my victory to Nevada. I'm gonna vanquish you. This is it. I have lost too many times. This is my victory dance. Here we go. Okay. Well. Uh, 20 questions. All right. So you have your diagnosis. You're ready to go. Yes. Okay. And you're going to be truthful to me. No lying. No, I, no intentional lying. Keep in mind I'm a terrible therapist. So You know what? That would be a great way to beat me in this game is to pick it's... pathological lying. <laughs> and then everything is wrong. And I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> None of this makes any sense. <laughs> like the only way to catch you is ask you like what color is the sky and you're like <laughs> I really, orange. <laughs> really wish I'd have thought of that. <laughs> that would have been so good. All right. All right. All so right. 20 questions. 20 questions. Game starts now. Okay, first question, number one. Um, is this something that affects your physical health? Ooh, good question. Um, no. Okay, so it doesn't outwardly affect your physical health. Um, are you able to... Oh, uh, 19, sorry. Oh, so, okay, so now I'm at 19, <clears throat> number 19. Uh, are you able to discern reality? Do you see things that aren't there? Uh, no. Do you hear things that aren't there? No, let me let me. I'll, I'll help you out with this one a little bit. Okay. Um, okay. No, I would say I'm in touch with reality. Okay. There's 
probably some distortion, but got I'm it. in touch with reality. Very so, fair. All right, 18. so 18. So I've gotten hallucinations off the board. I've gotten audio hallucinations off the board. Okay, so I know you're not having any psychosis. Um, I've taken away some health stuff, so I know that you're probably not like losing weight or uh, abusing your health with substances. So that kind of takes away that fear. So I've got away from addictions, probably at least chemical addictions. I've gotten away from psychosis. All right, let me see if I can drill in a little bit further. Um, is this something that prevents you from going to work? No. Okay. All right. So oh, that that doesn't help me a ton. <laughs> like that was not a great question. Like it would have helped if it was a yes. <laughs> but well, no, I'm sorry. Yeah. No, no leaves me a lot. Okay. Um, uh, is this something that uh, affects your family life? Yes. Okay. I guess that's pretty general. <laughs> like even depression and anxiety would. I'm at 16. Oh my gosh. I'm running out of these fast. Um, is is this something that has gotten you in legal trouble? No, 15. So that takes away, like, sex uh, disorders, likely. It takes away uh, stealing. Okay, um, let's see. They have things like anger, PTSD. Um, Is is this something that... Okay, let's see. Is this something that affects your sleep habits? No. Okay. 15. That takes away PTSD. Now, I don't have to worry about nightmares or flashbacks. Anxiety and depression can... It might not. Gosh, I don't want to get stuck into those because it might be too... I don't think you would be so obvious. I don't think you would pick the big ones like anxiety and depression. Unless you're really trying to throw me off. Wait a minute. Earlier you said... (laughs) Oh, I'm starting to get you now. Earlier earlier you said no hallucinations, but you kind of have distorted thinking. Okay. um, Do you have swings in your mood? No. Okay, not big ones. 14. Okay, now we're at 14. Okay, so that takes away bipolar disorder. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, I'm just sort of thinking. I wonder if you're delusional. Um, do you? Uh, do others believe that you misinterpret reality? Uh, I'm going to say... I'm going to say... N- Yes and no. Oh. I can't. I can't really answer that without really giving it away. Yes, that means I'm getting close. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what am I at? Thirteen. Yeah. Okay. 13. So now, uh, see, this is it. I'm starting to get you. So thirteen or fourteen? Uh, I'm gonna say thirteen. Yeah. Okay. So okay, I'm at thirteen. I have thirteen questions left, and now I'm starting to get really close. So I think that you're in some kind of delusions. So there's like delusions of grandeur, and there's erotomania, and there's okay. So uh, I think you're somewhere in there. Wait a minute. Are we playing that you can pick personality disorders, or do you have to stay to mental health disorders as the whole DSM? Whole DSM. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, no legal trouble. Uh, no health trouble. You kind of have distorted thinking. Is it erotomania? No. Oh, okay, I see. Now I'm at 12. 12. Um, is it narcissism? Narcissistic personality disorder? No. Uh, 11. Oh, no, that was where I was thinking you were going. Okay, so I don't have... Okay, so you're having delusions, you're, you're, but you didn't say that. Are, are you having delusions? No. Oh, no. Ten. I've been going down the wrong trail. Oh, no. Okay, you said you've distorted thinking? Distorted thinking? Uh, you're not having delusions. There goes but paranoia. I would get off the distorted thinking part because... Dude, you really threw me off with that? Yeah, uh, well... Because I spent all those nations like, I have distorted thinking. Okay, um... Does this does this affect your ability to? Uh, oh, I can't ask that. Um, I've already asked about work. I've already asked about legal stuff. I've already asked about family stuff. I've already asked about health stuff. Um, does this cause you to feel? I asked you about mood stuff, and you were like, "Not really. I don't have mood fluctuations." Um, and you said it doesn't cause you to break the law. It doesn't affect your health, so it's not substances. Hmm. Can this be treated with psychiatric medication? No. Oh my gosh. It cannot be treated with psychiatric medication. Nick, you are really getting me on this. <laughs> I am starting to get scared. I only have like 11 questions left. Oh no. Okay. I think I have 12. Do I have 12 questions left? No. I, I, I don't believe it's 11. Okay. Um, oh my gosh. This doesn't affect your health. I can't control it with psychiatric medication. Is therapy effective to treat this? Somewhat. Oh my gosh. 10. Are you born with this? Ooh. Um, uh, I'm going to say unknown. Okay, so that's, that's inconclusive. not really... Inconclusive. All right, that's fair, because psychology is still an emerging discipline, so that's, I'm down to 10. 